Oh, hi, Mark. What do I do? Hello. Welcome to my... Hey, guys. Welcome. Oh, I don't like this. What do I do with my hand? Hey, guys. Welcome. What's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Henry, and I'm a 3D artist. For those of you who know me through my TikTok, I post a lot of weird art on there. Today, we're going to talk about this. For those of you who don't know, this is Mark Rober. He's a YouTuber and engineer and a huge inspiration to why I decided to pursue engineering. And this is by far the most ambitious build I've ever taken on in the shortest amount of time. And it was a struggle, but we got through it and here's the final build. This was actually the first Arduino project I've ever made, which was a little daunting, but we moved out of my comfort zone and we learned a lot. This build was all sculpted in ZBrush, then 3D printed and hand painted, all powered by an Arduino that controls five servo motors inside that move the eyes and the eyelids. And fun fact, the brand tag that's on Mark's hat was just a clothing tag on my shirt that I painted over. And I actually bought a hat that I was gonna cut and glue to the top of the print, but then I remembered a regular size hat doesn't fit on giant Mark Rober. And that's why I ended up sculpting and 3D printing the hat as well, but it kind of actually turned out better. The first thing I did to sculpt this piece was watch through hours of Mark Rober footage on YouTube, finding those perfect reference photos of his face. And there were a lot. And this is actually kind of similar to this sculpt, which I did back in 2017, where I sculpted, printed, and painted my own face so that I could be myself for Halloween. Now this is around the time when I just started 3D art, so this took me more than a year to make. And this only took one day. I mean, the whole build, including the electronics and everything else, that took about five days. But still, it's really cool to see the growth reflected in my work. Now, if you look closely at Mark, you can see that in his hat, one of these snap buttons on the adjustable hat brim is actually a PIR sensor. So his eyes will stay closed until you walk in front of him. And if you haven't noticed already, this mask is huge. Now that was expected, but not intentional. Okay, so I spent the first few days working on the eye mechanism, um, prototyping that. And after a few prototypes, I was able to get the build as compact as I could. And even then, I could already tell that it's gonna be bigger than my face mask. But I thought, you know, maybe I just have a small face. And yeah, I saw it was kind of big in the slicer preview, but it wasn't until I actually saw it printing in the printer when it registered how creepy this would be. <laughs> Guys, I made a really bad mistake. <laughs> now there's a giant Mark Rober printing on my printer. But as a wise man once told me, if you want to learn, failure isn't something to be endured. It's something to be embraced. <clears throat> Mark Rober. And I mean, it was a funny mistake, so I, I kept going with the build. And I put up a poll on my TikTok asking you guys if you wanted me to restart or keep making the giant Mark Rober head. And 20,000 of you guys told me to keep going with the giant Mark Rober head. So as I mentioned before, this was the first time I've coded with C. So the structure for the code on this was based off of a public build by T. Jazzy, and I was able to learn enough about C to modify it to fit my requirement. So this was all very crudely put together with hot glue and wooden sticks. For the purposes of this video, I really didn't need it to look nice, I just needed it to work. That being said, if I were to do this again, I would 100% make it look a lot nicer and probably work even better. Let's take a closer look at how this all works. But taking a look here, we have two servo motors controlling the left and right movements of the eye, two controlling the up and down, and a fifth one moving the eyelids. Then I just slapped the boards underneath and spent a little more time this morning adjusting the code to get some more natural eye movement and adding some finishing touches. But there you have it. This is my build for a giant Mark Rober animatronic Scooby-Doo motion sensed creepy thing, sculpture, art, art, it's art. Now, as a lot of you already know, I spend a lot of time working on these projects live on TikTok and Instagram. In fact, I probably did around 80% of this whole build on live. So if you guys wanna come chat, hang out, ask some questions, or see my general workflow, feel free to pop in and say hi. I love exploring weird ways of combining art and engineering and I had a blast with this project. So you guys know the deal. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content. Leave a comment about what you think and what you want to see next. I'm scared. <laughs>